All right, today we're doing CNA Pro Ski Test Trail Crossover, and it's time to get extreme! So today what we're gonna be talking about, we're gonna be talking about the XPT ski, the RZ, and the XCS ski. So all three of them have different, different designs and for a different purpose. And starting with the XPT, the XPT is, I would say, the mellowest of the three. And it's more of your traditional, just putting on miles, trail riding. I would say they're a little bit more aggressive than, than most stock skis that you have and they are very smooth down the trail. The RZ is a ski that I'm very familiar with. I ended up using that ski for freestyle and then any of the projects, and now I've been riding them on my trail sleds for uh, 10 plus years. And it is it has good bite, and it works really well. I would say the downfall to the RZ is if you get into some tracks that are hard, you definitely know the thing. You can feel the thing kind of tracking around with it. The XCS is the most aggressive ski that we have out here today. And it is has a similar design to the XT, which is the Snowcross ski, which is extremely aggressive. So what the XCS is, is it has a one inch keel. So it's a little bit deeper keel than the other two skis that we're testing. And it has cutouts, you know, that allow the thing to kind of sink down in a little bit further with runners on the sides to kind of prevent darting and also help edge a little bit. So the reason I chose the this machine, I chose the 850 XCR. This one is a 128. And the other thing to keep in mind for this test, what we did is we put brand new four inch Woody's round bar carbide. So they're like not aggressive carbides. I wanted to feel what the skis were doing more than what the runners were. So I just put a, a basic runner on it and I think that was it was helpful. The one thing to keep in mind is we are in wet heavy snow right now and on the trail you can feel that stuff packs. You bite in pretty good and the sensation you get with wet packy snow is you do get more effort from that. So that's something to keep in mind for this test. We're gonna go out run in the bogs we're gonna do some off trail stuff, see what that says. We're gonna rip down the trail. We're gonna see how it is in the turns, how it is for darting, and we're gonna share that information with you. So let's get into it. So how we're gonna do this test is, I wanna know what these skis do back to back on the same turns in the same conditions. You know, a lot of times the easiest way to go about this is put a set of skis on, ride it for a day, oh, this is what it feels like, put another set of skis on, ride it for the next day and go, oh yeah, I think I remember what it felt like before. Not this guy. This guy is changing skis on the trail, in the bog. <laughs> We're doing it, right on. So we've got our extra skis with us. We got our two sets of spares strapped in, and we've got the one set on. So we've got the three skis. We're testing it on the exact same corner, so I know which one does what. That's what we're doing, because I think that's gonna be the most accurate. Let's get testing skis. All three of them, I was having a hoot out there. We, we got into a solid two to four feet of fresh, untouched snow. And it's heavy right now, but it was so much fun. So much fun. So skis, I would say the XPT and the RZs were very similar in the snow. Um, it, it just felt like they both were easy to get on edge. And I, I still, I almost feel like the, I almost feel like the, the RZ, I was able to like get on edge maybe a little bit easier and just it was a little bit easier to transition, but they were very close. The XCS, I think the width, it's, it's a, the widest ski of the bunch. I think that width sticking out, it just takes a little bit more leverage to get it on edge. And it felt like it, that was the hardest part, was trying to get it up. And it, it felt like it wanted to go back down um, easier than the other ones. So I, I would say if I were gonna be just bog running, just off trail, I would say the, the narrower ones the XPT or the RZ were probably my favorite uh, for 
getting on edge and carving. All right, on trail XPT cornering, darting, the, the XPTs are a very smooth, smooth ski. I mean, it. I didn't feel any darting at all, and it actually bites pretty well in the turns. I think when I started pushing on it a little bit, like when I started getting a little bit more aggressive and blasting the turns harder, it, I felt a little bit more push. I found myself dragging the brake more to kind of keep the skis planted hard. And especially, you know, going up and over any corner hills, whenever I would come up and over it, it seemed like, you know, the skis would get a little bit light, then I would definitely feel the thing pushing. But in general, I think it's a really, really good ski as a base starting point for anyone that wants a little bit more aggressive ski than, than what they come stock with. If you want a little bit edgier ski, but you still want that smooth comfort that you get with a stock ski. RZ, RZ skis, I always call them the razors. That's, uh, I love those skis. They just, they bite in. They're not a ton of effort as far as the bars go. They are more effort, I would say, than the XPTs, but they are a very, you know, it, they go where you wanna go. When you turn it, it feels like it's going that way. They bite pretty well, and it's still not a lot of effort. Um, I would say that the downfall to the Razor is it it feels like it tracks more. It feels like it wandering, darting around and stuff, where the XPT definitely was smoother going than, you know, it, it didn't feel like it darted near as much. So that would be my downfall with the RZ on the trails is, is simply the darting. Otherwise, I think this ski is great. XCS ski, it's definitely the most aggressive ski and you can feel that it's the most aggressive ski. That thing bites in, it bites hard, but the thing that you notice the most is the effort. You know, I'm on a 850 XCR and I'm going through those turns and you can just feel it's just a lot of effort to, to get them turned. Uh, they, they bite hard with that little bit deeper keel with the one inch keel, but the, the effort was the thing that always stood out to me. And keep in mind, right now we're riding, it's, you know, it's mid-March, the snow is kind of heavy and, and so it's, it's definitely going to feel heavier, or it's going to feel harder to turn with this tacky snow. In a softer snow, it probably wouldn't be near as bad, but it, it just reminds me of going from the XPT, which is the easiest turn, to the RZ, which is a little bit after that, to the XCS. It feels like I have my limiter strap really tight right now. Like I have a lot of ski pressure is what it feels like. So it's just a lot more effort. Bites hard, but effort to get there. Conclusion, XPT, definitely smooth, effortless, not no darting. Those are definitely the, the ski that you wanna put on if you want a little bit more aggressive than the stock ski, but you don't wanna be wrestling it down the trail. The RZ, on the other hand, is a little bit more aggressive. So you, it, it bites in a little bit harder in the turns. Um, off trail, I, I actually liked both the XPT and the, the RZ, I think simply because they're a little bit narrower and it was easier for me to get on edge. It didn't take as much effort. Being smaller, that's always the concern for me, to get on edge. And then the the XCS, I would say the XCS is definitely the most aggressive ski. You know, that is for if you're, if you're hardcore and you want that thing biting in and you're not worried to, you're not worried about how much effort it is or if you've got power steering, I think that XCS is is probably a great ski because it bites in hard, and you know when you you turn that thing, it's turning. So so that's the that's my wrap up on that. All three of the skis have their different purposes and they're for a different rider, but they all work awesome. And at the end of the day, if you want a better bite in the turns, the CNA Pro skis are going to do it for you. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to to respond to them. And I'll say that, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.